This is Mohobe Nuggets of Wisdom Podcast. We infuse, we energize, we inspire, and we empower entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs of all stripes in BW and beyond. Hello and welcome to another episode of Mohobe Nuggets of Wisdom Podcast. Your host here, Mumpulu Giliruma Mohobe, excited and invigorated as ever to bring you yet another episode and i'm going to talk to a farmer i'm going to talk to a businessman i'm going to talk to someone who's not a first time guest uh, of this podcast He's, he was here actually th- three or four years ago and he's back again uh, we'll check up on to see how he's been doing uh, welcome back sir thank you very much Let yeah before i start my conversation with mr Ndinai changeta who's my guest would you uh, please do the honorable thing and strive that strike that subscribe button just hit it for me we need as many subscribers as, as we can get so we can cope with the algorithm another piece of housekeeping is yes there's my book mom nuggets of grit um if you're interested in it please reach out to my pa jose or whoever's in the office indicate to them that you saw it on this program and uh, you will get a 10 percent discount the book normally retails for 3.99 you get it for 360. Um, that's that's the housekeeping done. Now to my guest, Mr. Chengeta. Can you care to introduce yourself for s- some <laughs> of the new viewers? <laughs> yeah, as you have already mentioned, mm. uh, the name is Mr. Chengeta. Mm-hmm. Um, someone who started off as a teacher, went into DJing, went into business in terms of modeling agencies. Uh, currently in farming, has gone through film production, etc. Et so I'm an all-round entrepreneur. That's exactly who I am. This is good. I, 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 you are very, very uh, upbeat the last time you were here. And uh, you told us about a project that you were deep, <laughs> knee-deep into, in fact, uh, <laughs> involving a lot of farming, involving um, very, very interesting people. I remember the phrase, they said people were emerging out of the bush. I'll never forget <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I like the fact that uh, you're going straight into it, into yes. the project that brings us all here, the project yeah. that everybody wants to know about. Yes. Well, what happens is, um, like I mentioned, initially when I started, I was a teacher who ventured into DJing, then later realized that, hey, if at any point in time anything is to go wrong, I can't, I can't trust what I'm doing. So therefore, I have to go into businesses that are more sustainable. So that is when I decided to quit teaching, go into film production. Whereas uh, in film production, um, where I started, I was filming weddings, um, events, etc., etc. Then later on, I realized that, hey, you know what? Why don't I go corporate? Mm. Then I started doing TV ads. Fortunately for me, I ended up doing TV ads for Alpha Direct, Bona Life, BTC, and Choppies. Mm-hmm. So which means our products were very good. Um, and I think that was thankful because of the type of partners that I had in the company. At the time? At the time, yes. Mm. So what then happened was uh, in film, I later decided to script uh, something which had something to do with me as a teacher, a student, etc., etc. And I shot the product as a movie that was then called 430, which went international. So it was also purchased by MultiChoice, which is the DSTV. Then, after it was purchased, I went into another proposal now, mm-hmm. where um, this is I way back in uh, around zero. That was 2010. Yeah. Then what I did is I went down, wrote a proposal to Makabani to tell them, "Hey, guys, you need to go to TV. I'll fund everything so that uh, the product can push through." Mm-hmm. Which is what we did. We went out, we sampled, shot everything, then created a proposal to BNEPS, the World Bank. Mm-hmm. When the proposal came back, we had been granted a figure of slightly more than six million. Mm-hmm. So with that figure, what happened is the money, when it arrived, it was with other monies again from other projects, which had been proposed, I think, by Kakso Tabi Somare Kwane. So at the time, that means when the amounts came, there was around 12 million, which was supposed to be dispersed by NACA. Mm-hmm. Now, when the money arrives, everything changes. Mm. Becomes an issue. Yeah. <laughs> you have to tender first. Yes. So, 
I contemplated to sue. Even though the, 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 the project had been accepted? Mine. Yes. Mm. So what happens is... And my the, contracts were signed? Well, what happens is, remember, it was a proposal between ourselves and Makabane. Mm -hmm. Then it was a proposal between Makabane, ourselves, and World Bank. Mm -hmm. Now, when the money comes, it doesn't go to Makabane now. It goes to Naka to disperse. Mm -hmm. So that's where then Naka says, uh -uh, this is not how we disperse funds. It means the tender has to go for tender. So now, when it gets there, it becomes an issue of, do we agree to tender or do we sue? But at the time, I mean, we had everything that is needed. We had the first episode with all the actors, etc., etc. So I decided, hey, why be a nuisance? Why not just tender because I've got the product? So we re-tendered. When we re-tendered, I think we tendered at 2.4 million. Mm. We won the tender as the lowest bidders, not as uh, the best products, but as the lowest bidders. Mm -hmm. Because others had charged Boma 6 million because they had we went seen from the 6 million to 2.4. To 2.4 million. Mm. So funny enough, when I was coaching, I was very clear to say, I'm totally not paying actors. I'm not paying for anything that is production related. Mm. I'm strictly giving my, uh, bringing in my cameras, my staff, and my expertise. Who's paying the actors? The, 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 the producers, which is Makabani. Yeah. So what then happened is that uh, we had no cost because now we had literally given them mm. all the cost. You understand? Mm. So the project went on. It was oh. 50, 52 episodes. Mm -hmm. Went out there, shot the episodes, it was chaotic. It was chaotic in that uh, <laughs> there are many people who had vested interest in the product. Mm. BTV had vested interest. Naka also had vested interest. Makabaning also was at a level where they are saying, hey, how can we give a company money when we could actually do it for ourselves? Mm. So what Makabaning did, then did was uh, they turned around and said, listen, we are going to have uh, uh, somebody tailoring each one of these guys so that <laughs> you have somebody that you are working with throughout so that mm. they can learn. So automatically when they did that, I knew that it was a once-off tender. So meaning once we finish our 54 episodes, we are doomed. Mm. So once the, the episodes were done, Makabanin then turned around to say, hey, our people haven't learned enough, so rather we are employing your employers, your, your, your employees. employees. Mm. So now I ask myself, but is this... Mm. A normal thing to do in terms of business. I contacted Daddy Atonis. Intention was to sue. Mm. But then he told me that, hey, it's, it's a dog eat dog world. Mm. They are allowed to uh, get employed wherever there's employment. Mm. So which means there's nothing I could do about it. So I parted ways with the, with the project. Even though they are, they, are, they are being employed to replicate your business idea, what about the um, the IP element, the intellectual well, property? Well, I think at the time I was tired because we had taken longer than we should have uh, taken to shoot the product. Mm -hmm. By then, I mean, even the amount that we were getting, we were working at a loss because imagine a project that we could have shot maybe, say, 54 episodes. We could have shot that in four, in four months. Mm. But we ended up shooting that thing in over a year. Mm -hmm. Which means by then, remember, we've got buildings at Bob Commerce Park, which we are paying rentals, some are 13,000. Mm -hmm. So by the time you finish the project, you've got overheads. Yeah, massive uh, overheads. Again, the way we were shooting, there was nothing else you could do because we kind of were shooting day and night. Mm -hmm. Meaning that you can't do anything else. So you are depending on this money. By the time you now get paid, you've got debts. You understand? Mm -hmm. So all that money, we cleared everything that we owed. And whatever we, re we, we, we remained with, I decided, okay, fine. The team that I'm going with, we have to share whatever we have, then move on. So when we are now moving on, that is when now we were caught by Bo Alpha Direct. Started doing the TV ads, ETC, ETC, our tenders grew, mm -hmm. and so forth and so on. So looking back, I was like, hey, can I work for money here? Mm. We have to invest it some way. Yes. Now, investing this money now means what, where, where, where do we take it to? And the best place to put your money is in property. So that's when I decided to buy the farm in Monopolone. Mm -hmm. Now, when I purchased that farm, I literally advertised on social media to say, I'm looking for a farm. But yeah, I don't I just want a farm. You mentioned that story. Yes. yes. Mm. To say, I just want a farm which is close to the road because I don't want to buy a van. I want to just use a private car. Mm. So fortunately for me, that farm popped up. Somebody said, I'm selling this farm mm. on behalf of somebody but I want a commission of 2000 mm. Now at the time, the farm I think was worth 28000 plus the 2000 on top, the farm How was actually... How many hectares was it? 
it was 8.3 hectares. Mm. So I paid for the farm mm. cash same day because we had money at the time. Mm. So I decided, you know what? Let me increase the value of the property. So I started fencing, doing everything in terms of constructions, etc., etc. Mm. Once I was done, I decided, hey, I don't have any debts, um, but I have land and it's got water. Mm. And within that that land that has water, you have a scenario in which you've got multiple crawls in which some people have uh, decided to come and lease out paddocks. So now you have, say, suppose. 20 paddocks mm. and everybody is paying a thousand kula per paddock mm. and you've got nothing to lose because after all the employees who are taking care of crawl number one are taking care of all the 10 crawls yeah, yeah so what then happens is i looked at it as a business opportunity to mm. say mm. why not extend this thing expand it to more people mm. so i grew to roughly around 40 tenants now once you go to the 40 tenants mm. covid hit yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 2020, 2020, 2021, 2020, mm. 2021, something. Mm, yeah. So when COVID hits, it means now people cannot move around. Those who have invested uh, their goods in the farm as well as chickens mm. uh, no longer have capital to run. Because remember, the feeds have to be taken to the farm and mm. they no longer have money mm. to continue. Mm. So I decided, you know what? Now that I've realized that people cannot afford to run this project on their own, how much does it really cost for one person to run this project? Mm -hmm. Which means when I calculated, I was like, okay, fine. For goats, 60,000 would run the project. Mm -hmm. So why not divide 60,000 into 20 people who are going to run the same project, mm. but as a group of 20 people? Mm. That's basically what the project was about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the chickens. If you are running a project for layers, for instance, mm. if it takes uh, 50,000 to run a project of 100 layers, mm. then it automatically means that if you divide, say, 20 people in that project, they are each paying 2.5. So generally, that is shareholding. Mm. That is what we did. So once the project was launched, we started with the goats. Mm -hmm. Now, with these goats, what happened, like we mentioned in the, in the other, pro, in the other uh, episode that mm. you called me for, what happened is we had ensured that there's money that goes to the purchase of the goats. Mm -hmm. Then there's amount that goes to the purchasing of the feeds. Mm -hmm. Then there's amount that goes to was the, the running of the project. Now, this is where we went wrong. Mm. When the money came for the from goats, these people, from these people, mm. for the goats, mm. for the goats alone, mm. the amount was 1.8 million. Mm. I think when you mentioned that. Yes, yeah. when the amount reached 1.8 million, people mm. got excited. Mm. I tell them, hey, listen, Kind of this amount that you're excited about. Remember that it boils down to every crawl simply owning 60,000. Mm. And at the end of the day, it means each one of you has a contribution of only 3,000. Mm. That's what it boils down to. Mm -hmm. But at that time, people... Why 3,000? That's the contribution that they had made yeah, yeah, per yeah. person, mm. which is 3,000 multiplied by 20, mm. which is 60,000. Mm -hmm. So once they forget that they are like no it's our money we have to decide on what we are purchasing mm. at the time mind you i've posted on social media to say we are looking for goats locally <laughs> why local mm. because i knew that to acclimatize these goats mm -hmm. they have to be local and again if we buy you local mean, meaning foreign goats would have a problem like would have a problem adjusting now, mm. if we buy local it also means we mm. are able to negotiate prices mm. so what i did is i talked to the farmers in kalahadi and the farmers in kalahadi said no, with the amount that you have for every 30,000, we'll give you the 30 goats plus an extra. <laughs> so when you tell these people they're not listening, mm. they're like, no, listen, we want a uh, bull goat mm. all of a sudden. So now when they want bull goats. What kind of people was there? A selection criteria? You took random people? Nope. It was a random uh, criteria where you're just picking mm. anybody who can afford 3,000, mm. which was chaos on, mm. on its own. Because yeah. one, you are mixing smart people with non-smart people. <laughs> so meaning, uh, in the criteria of business, you will come to realize at some point that, you see, people who are hungry, are noisy, people who are poor generally make the loudest noise. You mm. understand? Mm. Negative people are generally noisy people. Mm. More so that to a point where sometimes you may think that there are too many people making noise. <laughs> while. It's only one person, mm. one negative person making noise from this side, that side, that side, etc. Confusing etc. everybody. Confusing everybody to a point where now that echo emanates like as though the whole country is at war. You understand? What were the principal complaints? 
Now, what happens is, from the onset, when the goods arrived, mm. remember, they can no longer be 30 or more when they arrive. That means now, with the type of goods that they bought, they're even less than 50% of the 30 goods that should have come. Mm. On top of that, even worse, remember, you are from the 30,000 budget, which was budgeted for the goods. Now, you have a situation where during that time that the goods were coming, it was during COVID, mm -hmm. the regulations there were so complex. These goats literally had to stay at the border for a longer time than the time that anybody anticipated, mm. which means nobody pr planned for the feeds there. Mm. And the owners of the goats were disbursed, were not paying for the feeds for the goats. What does it mean? It mm. automatically means the mathematics mm. is going to already going in a chaotic direction. Mm. Why? The amount that has been registered for the feeds is no longer being utilized in the farm. Yeah. It's now starting to be utilized where the goats are. Mm. Transportation. Those guys are charging for transportation of the, of the goats. Now the goats finally arrive. Mm. Now, by the time they arrive, we are Typically already at is war. It, it's a month late? Or? It's a, almost a month later mm. because they took roughly around 30 days at the, at the, at the border there. Mm. Now, when the goats arrive, remember now we are at war because I can already see that part of the money has been used for something that was never calculated for. So I'm now preparing the for feeding. chaos because of the feeds. Mm. Now, at that point, I realized that even talking to these people, they can't hear you when you tell them that mm. they have blown the budget already. So what do I do? I sit down with them, I tell them, listen, it's best I return your difference for the feeds, mm. which is how much you have, uh, or how much you initially had minus how much you have already used. Mm. So what I did, I went through each and every gr group. At the time, I think they had 12,500, which they had to be reimbursed per group. Mm -hmm. I gave them the 12.5 per group, mm. which was 30 groups. Now, when I did that... They had invested 30, they are getting 12.5. They had invested 60,000. 60, they are getting... From the 60,000, remember the 30,000 has gone to the goats. Yeah, yeah. 18,000 okay, right, was yeah. supposed to go to the feeds. The yes. 12,000 goes to the farm. No, I understand now. I understand. It's, it's on the balance. Yes. Mm -hmm. So remember from 18,000 now, mm. they've already blown some money so they're left with 12,500. Mm. So what do I do? I go group by group. Mm. I return 12,500. Mm -hmm. Because I can see that we are heading for chaos. Mm. Once I do that, what now happens is because already they've all reached a fallout with each other, a new dynamic pops up. They are not cooperating in terms of where to buy the feeds or who to buy the feeds for. Mm. Now, initially, in my plan, we were supposed to buy the feeds from one gentleman by the name of Mshaka Shok. Mm. Whom with I, whom you had negotiated. With whom we had negotiated. And within the negotiations that we had uh, uh, come to, we had simply said... This is the same one of Zambezi Towers? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. But all I know is that when I was introduced to him, mm. I knew that this person knew about feeds mm -hmm. as well as vaccinations, etc., etc., for mm -hmm. the goats. Mm -hmm. So, in the deal that we had cut with him, he was literally supposed to take the entire 18,000 as is multiplied by 30. Mm -hmm. So that now, we are no longer liable for feeding. We are no longer liable for viruses, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. What happens is, once the, feeds, the, the goats arrive, it's somebody else's problem. Not yours. Yes, that's the liability aspect. Mm. Now, these people, when we try to tell them, hey, guys, listen, for as long as we are buying the feeds from different areas, we are paying transport here, there, we are liable for mortality, diseases, etc., etc., they can't hear you. So they, that's they, why I attend the money. They kept going to social media at that time. No, that was before they reached breaking point. Mm. Now, when they realized that things were not working out mm. because of their expenses, Mm. Remember now, as a group, when you now go and try <laughs> to buy feeds mm. on your own, the truck guy charges you 4000 mm. to transport those feeds. Mm. But remember how much you have. You are at a, you are at a budget of 18000 mm -hmm. You are now at 12500 12, So every time when you go and buy feeds and this person charges you 4000 what does it mean? It means now the whole project has gone to shambles. It's chaos. Mm. So at the time, I knew that they were hunting for someone to blame. How do you blame me now? Because I took my 12,000, which is at 1,000 pull up a month. Mm. You blew from your 18,000 all the money, and you bought the goods. And you are, you are liable because you are the one who's feeding. 
because you refused not to be liable. Mm. So it blows up. People want to call it a scam now. Mm. So I look at it and I'm like, okay. Scam, scandal, cheating, fraud. All yeah, kinds of words were used. All kinds of words were used. Mm. So at the time I decide, how do we manage this thing? Do I go all out and defend myself? Said, hey, man, there are too many. Besides, uh, when you defend yourself, that's how you are likely to do it. You, make, you may make a mistake in your presentation. Mm. Meaning, if you make a mistake and lose composure or you respond out of character, the person who believes in you, who thinks or believes they know you, mm. if they see you out of character, you are doomed. <laughs> you understand? Because you get emotional and yes, stuff. Yes, yeah. because it becomes an issue of, oh, so they're telling the truth, that's who he now is. Yeah. So I chose to keep quiet. Mm. Until everything had blown over. Once it had blown over, I When you keep quiet, you mean what? You close the farm and go away? Yeah, I simply closed the farm. I went home. Mm. What happened to the goats? They took their goats. Mm -hmm. So once they've taken their goats, etc., etc., mm. um, some continued until end of the year, etc., etc. So I went home, I kept quiet. Mm. At the time, again, mind you. But they were slaughtering you on social media. Uh, for me, it doesn't matter because I don't even read. Mm. When they slaughter you on social media, you simply don't read. Mm. Because at the end of the day, what can it do to you? Mm. After all, it doesn't take your meat, it doesn't take your money, it doesn't do anything. When mm. you just have to make a decision. Now, fortunately for me, they thought they were, they were going to crucify me by going to serious crime. Mm -hmm. Now, fortunately, they were going to people now who are level-headed. So now, when the, the, the case went there, it became an issue of, how do you want to pay them? Mm. Period. I told these guys, no, listen, I only want to pay these people in December on the 18th. And at the time that this is happening... Of which year? I think it was 2021. Mm -hmm. 2021, same year that it blew up, mm. April. Mm -hmm. That's when I made that decision to say, I'm not paying now. But mm. I had their money. Mm. I told them I'm not paying them now. I'll pay them uh, on the 18th of December. The reason? <laughs> mm? <laughs> Rental. Yeah. Rental. I knew that once they exit then, mm. then I'm owed my fair share of the rental. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. At the time when we were exiting, because of the different groups that were there, I could have spent 3.2 million. But if we wait until December, then I don't return 3.2 million. I only return 2.7 million. Mm -hmm. So um, during in that In terms period, of the agreement. In terms of the agreement. Mm. So come uh, December 18, a lot has happened. Now, before then, uh, in um, around, roughly around April, I'm on social media. I see this other comment. It's written, Chengeta obizu uje labato maadi, but batu ambu dire labaha. Bambu dire labana. Yeah. So at the time, I'm asking myself, what on earth is this? People are making children for you. Hey. <laughs> that is funny. So I'm like, what does this mean? Mm. But the truth is, that comment, it shook me because it was not just a normal comment. You understand? Mm. So I keep quiet. Following day, my brother calls me. Hey, there's such and such a comment. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Mm. And it's like, you don't mind having seen the comment. Mm. Again, when I look at it. Mm. Now, at the time, remember, I cannot attend to this comment because there's a lot of gunfire everywhere. Mm. But now, a lot of questions start popping up in my head to say, oh, I once heard this. I once heard this. Somebody once said something like this. You mean you connected it to previous rumors? I, Yes, I connected dots now. When mm. I'm commenting dots, I'm like, what if? Mm. What if this is the truth in mm. terms of a DNA? So, people <laughs> making children for you. Yeah. And mind you, at the time, remember, I got married because I had a child with someone. Mm. So, I'm asking myself, does it mean this child is not mine? And I'd invested a lot of emotions in this child. I loved this child, you understand? And... And also in the relationship. Yeah, also in the relationship. Yeah. But at the time, I came to pick that my marriage, I was in it alone. It was not working. Mm. But you are so blinded by all this commotion to a point that you don't realize that you are married to yourself. But now when this happens... What do you mean? You're in the same bed with someone and under the same roof, but you are married to yourself. We did not live in the same yard. Mm -hmm. What happens is my partner lived in Francistown. I lived in Harborough. Oh. So meaning that... Uh, to a certain extent, you believe that maybe 
the distance between the two of you is because of the distance, mm -hmm. the literal distance. Yeah. But when you look at it, you're like, uh, how long have I been with this person coming home to us and the child, etc., etc.? Mm. It doesn't tally now. So, so you would visit Francis Town. We'd visit Francis Town once, once, in a, once month. a month or Should, something. Yes, once in every two months or three months. Mm. Sometimes the person that I was with would be on trips, mm. so meaning we'd spend about four months without even seeing her. You understand? Mm. So. With that, I just realized that mm -mm, there's something wrong with this marriage. Mm. I'm happy because of the child, mm. not because I'm in this marriage. So I need to make very heavy decisions. Mm. But in an event that I find out that the main reason why I went into this marriage uh, doesn't fall into play, uh, obviously there's going to be chaos. But how old was the marriage at that time? It was almost two years. It was reaching two years mm -hmm. within that entire that short period. Mm -hmm. So, when there are other signs, when there are other, you know, indications that there's problems here. When you're in a marriage, and I think you are desperate to see it work, and you are in trouble again, you know, you don't see a lot of things. You understand? It's only when you look from the outside, because others see that you are not married. Mm. It's you who thinks you are married, but. You haven't even seen your partner in over four months. Mm. And you have been married for, for two years. So, in the process, that thing bothered me. So I decided, hey, hey, let me move from where I've been living because I need to, to build a new life now, which did is Did you investigate the rumor from Facebook? Yeah, I did. And what were your findings? That the child was not mine. You, you did a DNA? Yeah, I did a DNA. So, I did a DNA. Um, then it came out negative to say the child was not mine. And she admitted? There was nothing like admitting because it's DNA is yeah. solid. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. those guys could not lie because we, we did the DNA at Diagnofem. Mm. And doing that DNA at Diagnofem, there are so many documents that we had to sign. Mm. There are so many tests that those guys were running. There was no way mm. those guys could be wrong. No way. So... What happens is my DNA was done on the 1st of December. What mm. I want to know is that she considered that, look, I cheated on you, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what happens is, remember, all this chaos starts around May, uh, DNA related, where now I'm handling this issue with the goods, the chickens, now there's the child issue. Now, at the time, I decided, you know what, I need to go and think thoroughly on my own. So that's where now I get uh, some builders to say, guys, I need to build at my plot in Mopan. Mm. So I built my house there, barricaded in it, because now I'm looking at paying out 2.7 million. It's a lot of money. It's not a joke. Mm. So once I've done that, remember at that time, people are looting my farm. People are looting seriously at the farm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And because there's, there's no, no security. Way, eh, and there's no way I can go to the farm. Because mm. when I go to the farm, then it's more like I've been running the farm, so therefore I don't deserve the amount that I'm to collect from the rentals, you understand? Mm, mm. And also, I didn't want to create more controversy around, hey, maybe you took a goat, you took a chicken or whatever mm. again. So I deliberately decided to stay away from the farm. Even though you knew it was being uh, plundered. And exactly. Mm. But at the same time, again, like I said, there was looting taking place. Mm. So that looting, I was worried about how much is being taken. But fortunately, you know, we had over 3,000 uh, corrugated iron sheets. Mm -hmm. And mind you, they were getting looted like nobody's business because mm -hmm. the people who live within that, that area call that a house, you understand? Mm -hmm. So they were stealing my corrugated iron sheets. Yes. The entire village now is silver, my material. Ah, ah, so ah, 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 ah. what then happens is, remember, I'm dealing DNA this side. Mm. I'm dealing with this mess, Yadipudi, etc., mm. etc. Now, come December, by the time we get there, there's totally no marriage. Didn't mm. straight there. No, I didn't want a man who had this position, etc., etc. I didn't ask for this, etc., etc. You understand? So, technically, there's no marriage. Mm. There's no business. Technically, people want my farm. Mm. So, I'm defending all ends. And I have to make decisions. Sorry. What do I remain with out of all this chaos? And, Kadi one, I decided to take a bold move. Remember, Kadi 18, he do a lot of work, that mm. 3.2 million. Mm. And at the same time, DNA, it has to take 18 days. So that 18 days means I pressure my, my ex-wife to go for the DNA. Mm. 
Now, as I'm pressuring for this DNA, for our ring, do you think now we're hiding what you want? Can you 18? It's on sorry, I mean, the results are the same. And remember, that's the same day, Alien Warren returns to Warren, who do you have to buy? Was it just a coincidence? No. I planned it deliberately because I wanted to get rid of all my problems on the same day. Okay. So. Why? Mona, I didn't have a life then. Mm. And I wanted to come back with a plan. Okay. A super plan, not for anybody else, but this time for myself. All right. Because by then I'd realized that I pay attention more to other people and I don't protect myself. Mm -hmm. So when I made that conscious decision, I decided, hey, hey, this time when I come back, it's about me. Mm. So on the first, I know I've got 18 days to go. We do DNA. Got 18, DNA is out. DNA is mm. out. I don't even negotiate. I get the documents, go to my lawyers, I tell them, hey, give a who divorce. Mm. They document everything. Baba you say, were separate anyway, you're yeah, living apart. Exactly. So Baba Mosev, Baba Mosev, give 18. They tell me, hey, Chengeta, remember, we have to pay those people. I'm like, no problem. I transfer 2.7 million. Uh, where's the difference? There's no difference. They're paying me rent up. Pay 2.7. They account for it. They go to serious crime. They account for it. Everybody is paid. Everybody takes their direction. But are they happy? I don't care who is happy. <laughs> All I know is everybody got their money back. Mm -hmm. I paid. Now, the funny thing is, after people get paid, they just keep quiet. Everything goes quiet. Nobody mentions that they've been paid. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I now... And there are no social media posts about none. it. None. People go quiet completely. Mm. So I decide, you know what? This has dragged for too long. It's draining. I tried to help people, but it backfired. Deep down inside, I blamed other people for it. I was angry. No jokes. Mm. But when you said you paid, you meant each, each person had their amount. Each person had paid their... Paid straight into their account. My lawyers, straight to account, mm. directly. Mm. Get POP to my email. They were responsible specifically. My Kerry mm -hmm. was doing all the payments from the first person to the very last person mm. that submitted. Every, everybody was paid. POPs were transacted, ETC, mm. ETC. Came back to me to say, Mr. Chengata, we have paid everybody. Mm. Your 2.7 million is gone. Yeah. I'm like, no problem. Mm. Now, what do I do next? I sit down to December. Mm. It's the longest December on the planet. <laughs> I don't have a child. Mm. I don't have a wife. Mm. All I have is a house. I've retained the farm. Mm. But I can't go to the farm because I don't have a plan. Mm. So what's next? I decide, you know what? Let me get security for the farm. Then think about how I'm going to kickstart everything. Because mm. I can't just do things without a plan. You understand? Mm. No, you so can't. So at that point, I decide, you know what? I want to take a break for a whole year. A whole year. Sabbatical. Sabbatical. <laughs> In that break, I tell my friends the truth. That you know what? I was a nuisance. When I was married, I neglected all of you. When I had money, I ran around with other people, not mm. you. Mm. So now I need you to come back into my life so that we can continue our friendship. How, how are you communicating this? Via Facebook? No. Directly? I call them directly. To one tell on them, one? Yeah, one on one. I misbehaved. Mm. I'm sorry if I hurt our friendship. Mm. You know what my friends did? I had groceries for over a year. From my friends. Uh -uh. They would say, let me give you 2,000. Mm. Like, when do I return it? No, never return it. Mm. Friends came in. Because you opened up to them. Yeah. They Remember, you called me. I called you, yes. <laughs> so you are my friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I called you to express uh, sadness and to encourage you to stay strong. You did. Mm. And you know that call meant a lot to me because, remember, we only meet for business. Yeah, we, we met in my podcast. Yeah, exactly, woman. So I was like, ah, but this guy can call me. A big man that I respect. This mm. is a nice thing. Mm. And mind you, you are not the only one. Mm. Various people of various status mm. called me to express that, hey, listen, if you need anything, we are there, etc., etc. Mm. A lot of people that I had helped in the past are like, no, you know what? We know you. We don't know this person on Facebook. Mm. So people were coming in. Everything of mine was technically paid for. Mm. That December, mm. I decided, you know what, I'm going to go out. I'm not an outgoing person, mm. but I decided this time I'm going to go out and have a blast. 
<laughs> Dr. Vom popped up from nowhere. He tells mm. me, listen, can I have a tweet, Paula? Mm. So everywhere where there is a show, just tell us. Libo V, most of the artists were like, we'll give you a VIP card, mm. VIP access. <laughs> that entire December, I was 100% VIP. Yeah. I was not even buying drinks. Yeah. Everything was done for me. Wow. When I came back, I was exhausted, but I needed to go back and have more fun. Mm. Because remember, I'm single, and the divorce has not been finalized. So therefore... Still pending at the high court. It's still pending, yes. Mm. So that entire year, I didn't do any business. Also, my, my parents had given me an allowance mm. for survival for that year. Mm. I was on an allowance. They were paying very for. fortunate man. Yes. So, you know, that year, I was basically not doing anything. You're talking about 2022. 2022. I wasn't doing anything. Mm. Uh, all the way into 2023. 2023, I decide the time has come. Mm. We now have to go back into the game. When we come back, we have to hit hard. No jokes. No retreat. No surrender. Now, at that point, I've learned a lot of lessons. Mm. So, therefore, I made a conscious decision to say, this time, is this... This seems like a, a paintable expression, like a trademark of some kind. Uh, well, it's popping yeah, up as that. Yeah, Go yeah, it's, it's, it keeps hey. coming up every interview. I, yeah. I like it. <laughs> I like it. So, you know, funny enough, I start this thing, yeah. Mm. It goes viral. I'm sure people are wondering what the hell is wrong with this guy. Mm. He's in trouble. He's out. Mm. I go to the farm. Start pushing, pushing, pushing developments, pushing developments. This time, what was the model? Well, what happened is I only, you know, a lot of destruction had come to my farm. So I told myself that uh, between December 2023 and December 2024, mm. I want to turn my farm into a, an asset that is worth at least over six million. So, um, that's when I decided, good, I was destroyed in public, so therefore, I'm going to come back in public again. Mm -hmm. I know that, you know, people don't believe I can come back. And mind you, during that period, somebody happened to post that Chengeta has lost everything, he is poor, there's no way he can come back. <laughs> so that thing alone... As if they're celebrating. They were celebrating. No. So when I saw that, it kick-started me. I'm like, the time has come. Mm. Now that everybody knows I don't have anything, let me come back now with nothing and see what they say so that they see how much can be built by that very same person mm. who they are saying has nothing. <laughs> so you took it as a challenge? I took it as a challenge. I called one gentleman in, in uh, Francis Town. He's the guy who was building my house in Mopan. I tell mm. him, hey, the time has come. We need to go and work. That farm, I want to engage you for a whole year, I'll be paying you every 15 days. I'll be paying you until the very last day, which is on the 24th of the following year. And I'll be paying you for construction. We are going to build this farm from zero to 100. Every three days, bricks will be coming in for you to work with. Mm. Cement will always be there. Corrugated iron sheets, we have too much of that. Uh, body, pair lines, etc. Et you know, there's hardly much that we don't have. Mm -hmm. The major thing is bricks. I told them, compete against the bricks. What does that mean? It means every three days you should have at least utilized 500 bricks. And that guy does exactly that. Mm. I tell him what I'm visualizing. He charges me for it. In 15 days it's done. I pay him. We go into the next job. Mm -hmm. To date, we started by putting up a wall at the farm on the front side. Mm -hmm. Then I decided that was not enough. We need to partition and have the project that are in front such that the, there's a wall again that barricades so that people don't see beyond. Mm. So that now, whatever happens that side is that side in front. Mm. We, part, we put up the, the, the walls which are now called the Great Walls but are of you, Are you, are you uh, seeking professional advice as you do this? Mm, not really because mm. I already know what I want. Mm -hmm. I already know what I want because remember what I'm doing, I'm venturing into new grounds because when you talk about farming, people just want you to put a fence around your farm with either logs or fence, but I'm saying farming is not only about that. 
You know, we can have massive farms with massive entrances. We can have brick and mortar around your farm. You know, you can go beyond. Mm. But especially because of the type of president that we have now, mm. who is more into agriculture. Why not spearhead something new? Mm. Why not show people that agriculture is not about the poor, it's not about, you know, people with no money, etc., etc. Mm. It is about a lifestyle, a lifestyle of, of growth. It can take you from zero to hundred. Yeah. So when I put up the wall, you say they call it the Great Wall of the Great Wall of Chengeta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my brother would laugh and say, How come people are talking about your wall, but there are other people with walls? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's the Great Wall of Chengeta <laughs> because it symbolizes yeah. that element of from zero to hundred. Mm. How so tall is it? In terms of height, mm -hmm. no height is just the normal uh, 1.8 to 2 meters. Okay. Now the interesting thing is we keep them posted. You know we put up this wall, started plastering, went in, we partitioned so that we have the lodging side on mm. one area, a massive parking. You know right now. How are you I finding all this? From my pocket. Okay. I've got projects that I'm currently doing. Mm -hmm. um, now, I'm leasing out poultry houses. Mm -hmm. back to that same model mm -hmm. the very same model mm -hmm. that we, we we utilized yes but this time you don't have a million people doing one 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 project mm. it's everybody focusing on their projects mm -hmm. so what i've realized is that people who are mature see the value in it to a point where you've got people who are doing it for themselves then you've got parents who would say i want my children to come and live yes so i'm paying for my child so it's still happening. It's definitely happening. Smoothly this time. Basically, people have seen that you've been resilient and you've survived the storm. Exactly. Mm. So what happens is we started with uh, one, one tenant. The guy was a, a guy from BDF. Mm -hmm. The wife was actually in that other project mm -hmm. for eggs. Oh. The wife is like, mm -mm, that project, we are the ones who messed up. Mm. Now I'm going back in. And she went back in with mm. that guy. Mm -hmm. Right now, as we are speaking, they started with 100 chickens. They are now shifting to 500. Mm -hmm. That project is go growing in my farm. Mm. There was that gentleman. Then later we had lawyer, Mama Newe, mm. Manewe Atonis. They came in, picked units for their children. Yes. Then we had one lady by the name of Daisy with the children, etc., etc. They punched in. Then a lot of other people came in. So people realized that the that was just... Noise, yes. noise, yeah. yeah. So, these people have been running since last year, mm. and the number keeps growing. Mm -hmm. So, what we do is, as we are building in front, we are also building units at the back mm -hmm. because we are racing against the demand. Mm. Now, in doing that, it means kind of we are we are covering two four two fronts at the same time. Mm. That great wall has to keep people busy because mm. there's no way we are stopping mm. until the twenty four. The bricks have to come in. That guy has to build. Mm. So, where are we now? The walls have popped up. Mm. The entrance has been done. The parking has been done. I think the entrance will be fully, fully done by mid next week. What about the the water? Where do you get it from? I've got two bottles in the farm. Oh, okay. So I've got which you had from back from then. From previously, yes. Okay. So I've got plenty. So of at water. least not everything was vandalized. Uh, there was no way they could vandalize that. I mm. think people steal what is stealable. Yeah, yeah. Like. When I told you the gun poles, mm. the corrugated iron sheets, that yeah. is stealable. Those were those were lootable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lootable. <laughs> yes. So with the boreholes, you can take somebody's borehole yeah, and yeah, go yeah, with it. Yeah. So we've got too much water. Mm. So given that, what we are now doing is, um, we are now moving. I had wanted to put a double story there, mm -hmm. but as soon as the and plans move there. and move there, mm. as soon as I put up the plans, my father called me. Mm. He tells me you're not you're not going to live there. That place is a place of business. Mm -hmm. Where you have put a wall around to say the double story is going there, put a lodging facility in there. Mm -hmm. I said, ah, old man is clever than mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So I decided, no problem. Can uh, I, when a parent says, don't do this, do this? Yeah, it's wisdom. It's wisdom. Mm -hmm. I have to listen. And my father is one guy that I really respect. Mm -hmm. You understand? Everywhere where I've deviated from him telling me this is wrong, don't work with so many people, mm -hmm. don't do this. I've gotten into trouble. <laughs> so I've learned how to listen to that man, yeah. to the dot. Mm -hmm. So as soon as he made that decision, I'd say, hey, hey, no more double story in there. Double story elsewhere, but not there. Mm. So we then decided, okay, fine, no problem. 10 units will do Honeb. Mm. So those 10 units, I think, will start pushing them from August. 
Uh, but for now, once we finish with the entrance... So it becomes a tourism spot. Yes, agro-tourism. Mm. So what then happens is, from here, uh, before end of this month, we should be now going into the, the restaurant area, mm -hmm. the outdoor restaurant. Mm -hmm. So we are supposed to be working on that, the VIP side, then the VVIP side, then the standard, the wow. standard side. Wow. So once we are done with that, then we'll be shifting to the camping sites. We need at least... 10 camp is, uh, tents that are already set up. Mm. Um, you know, All this is in your head or... Yeah, it's in my head. But During that one year when you took a break, that's when you that's came up That's what I was thinking I want to do. Mm. Mm. And I had to also ensure that uh, the monies that I'm generating can be able to cope. Because remember, kind of we are making so much noise about this project. Mm. We cannot stop. We cannot be seen to, seen to be having less money than what we are boasting about. You yeah, understand? yeah. Hey. So hence the reason why yeah. we are now doing it in front of their eyes. I mm. want by end of this year for them to look at that farm mm. and see a massive entrance with photo shooting areas, a massive parking, mm. paving, restaurants, etc. etc. You remind me of a verse from the book of Psalm which says that uh, he prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemies. <laughs> I always tell people that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to say right now, I'm literally eating from that table because Hey, boss, that table is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Mm. I'll tell you why. Mm. That table created a bigger following for me, a massive following. And now with what I'm doing, you know, especially because people thought I was over and out. Mm. Now it's not happening. Mm. At first, they were doubting. They were watching to see, okay, fine. Mm. Let's give it a week. Mm. Let's give it, okay, fine, one month. You will fall in one month. Mm. Now it's refusing. Mm. We are on month seven. Mm. And nothing is happening of that nature. Instead, we are doubling production. Yeah. I can't help noticing that you look youthful, you look young, you look energized. <laughs> and uh, what is the secret there? Is there some formula? Well, I don't know. I think with me, maybe it's because I'm happy. Mm. I'm happy because I've got a, a loving partner who doesn't stress me, who is there for me, who encourages me, who seems to understand everything that I'm doing. And... I've got a kid, a kid who smiles like she's glowing, you understand? Yeah, this one, uh, how old is the kid? She's only three months. Yeah. I mean, that kid is beautiful. Uh. She's got big ears like mine. Okay? <laughs> 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 so that's what keeps you going. Yeah, because now what I'm basically building is like whenever I have to sleep, I'm like, no, but I have to go and build for these guys. Mm. I have to build because I'm behind. Mm. I'm behind schedule. I'm not spending as much as I want to spend on them. Mm. I need to build so that end of this year, I don't talk construction. Mm. I talk, what do you get? Yeah. What do you guys want? What can I get for you? Mm. That's the language I want to use. So, so I, I'm still curious in your funding model. Why I'm, I'm saying there's a lot of entrepreneurs complain about funding and sourcing of capital. You seem to have found a formula where you use both friends and your own resourcefulness. Um, without disclosing too much, can you give us a, an idea? It's a, it's a smart question. Very smart. Mm. Let me give you my schedule. Mm. Monday and Fridays, I go to the farm in the morning. From morning, I'm talking about 6 o'clock, until 1 o'clock when I come for lunch at home. Mm. Those are the two days that I fully dedicate to the farm. Then, um, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday... Evenings, etc., etc., I'm doing counseling. Most of my nights, from 6 o'clock until midnight, I'm doing counseling online. Mm -hmm. That's where I make a lot of my money. Mm -hmm. Then, in terms of production of chickens, my production from home, is very high. From, from home. home. Mm -hmm. I would work from home, push, especially counseling. One on one, on, on. Over the phone, I mm. do strictly online. Yeah. Now, what happens is, during that time when they were roasting me, mm. the way that I reacted and the way I survived the whole thing mm. told people that this is the guy we can go to. He's got the experience. Mm -hmm. And the way he did it, there were no flaws. Mm. Look at him. He's still standing. Mm. So he knows what he's doing. So you've become a counselor. So, a boss. I was always a counselor. The only thing is now I'm far more popular mm. because in a single evening, I'm expected to at least counsel six, six, six clients. Mm. Um, every hour, I have to finish. Go into the next one, I finish. Mm. So I tell my family, she say, you know what? I'll sleep on the same bed with you, but this year I have to work. Mm. I have to work because 
we can't just eat next year. Mm. Somebody has to suffer. Mm. Then on weekends again, I have to make sure that at least I spend some of the time with them to make sure that you know yeah, with the family. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm. But generally, I'm one guy who works around the clock. Even when I'm sleeping, I'm me, planning. Counseling is your is, is part of your training as a teacher, is it? Yes. Okay, so you're simply applying your profession in a different way. Definitely. Mm. Then usually again on weekends you find out that where we are free, we are still back at film production. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing, this now will shock you. Mm. The same project that was called Escape by Botswana was purchased, the same concept, by another country. And I'm consulting for them. Mm -hmm. Purchased from you? Yes, purchased directly from me. Mm. The embassy came to me. They told me, listen, you see that very project? Mm. That's the one that we want. And our government will pay uh, the contributions for our people. We yeah, are the ones who are going to run that project. And it seems like they're doing very well with it. Because uh -huh. once in a while, when they call, oh, when this happens, what do you do? I'm like, ah, that one. It's, it's an easy happen. It's an easy one. Yeah. Do one, two, three. So the same way I got into trouble is the mm. same way that I came out. Because other countries so saw Which country is it? I can't tell you that. Oh, OK. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's uh, this is. That one I can't tell. Because yeah, it's, it's, very it's, it's classified. Yeah. That's yeah. Very naughty. They might go to that country and wreck and everything. Say, yes. Yeah. So I've learnt what to disclose and what not to be mm. disclose. You, you, you have to keep it your seems you've, you've, you've unlocked the secret of defeating Tsele. <laughs> and it seems like you, you have a formula for that's the impression I get. Is the secret f of overcoming Tsele this idea of Humagabudipa or just being bold in the face of all this negativity? No, technically what happens is if you talk about me what can you take away from me? Nothing. You mm. understand? Mm. What does nothing you can do? The mm. only person who can defeat you is you when you decide to stop. Mm -hmm. When people don't like you, then you decide to sit back and fail. Mm. It's your fault, not their fault. You understand? Mm -hmm. So what happens in my case is when you are negative, I become motivated mm -hmm. to say, aha, mm. I'm going to teach you now. Mm. I'm going to show you that I can defeat the obstacle that you want to put mm -hmm. in front of me. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the more negative you are because remember i was defeated in public now i have to come back bigger and better yeah. than what they de de mm. wha what they destroyed that farm if at the time when uh, we were in trouble it was valued at 2.3 million mm. now imagine with all these walls you are you are you are yeah you it's know, up there it's you, up there you know, you know. it's heading to that six hey. million you mentioned Robert. so okay i now know what i'm doing and mm. i've got friends who'd say check out you posted this why don't you pick it here? Why don't you do this? Mm. So for me, it helps me mm. to say, ah, but I didn't see that. Oh, Chengata, your entrance is a bit low. Why don't you have another entrance for trucks? Mm -hmm. You see now what is happening is you are no longer building the farm on your own. Yeah, these people are involved. They're involved. The people are involved. W others would say, no, you can't say you are creating this venue. Mm. Create a VIP. Let me come to your farm. Let me help you. So your followership has gone crazy. How many? What are the numbers now? Dude, I think my following right now is ov at over 138,000. Mm. And as a profile, not a page. Yeah. So that is crazy. Mm. Because. As a page, it's, it's even more. Uh, as a page, it will be far, far more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I look at it and I'm like, you know what? I've got crazy numbers. Mm. Now let me baptize all of them. Yeah. Because remember, I also do advertising on my page. Mm. In a single day, I advertise maybe five businesses. Mm. And they're paying. Yeah. Then I, I'm technically getting paid the whole day yeah yeah even as i'm sleeping i get in your sleep hey yeah on weekends mm. i've started this thing where because i've got so many chicks can we produce up to a thousand chicks in mm. a single week mm. over a thousand mm. and i don't wait for them to grow and start feeding mm. what i do is as soon as they are born i start selling or mm. i trade exchange so i'd simply post on social media to say hey if you have anything that you're not using give it to me I'll give you the value of the number of chicks mm. that your product is worth. Mm. So people will bring in nice chairs like these, mm. air conditioners, uh, they'll say I'll bring bricks, you know, things that you wouldn't imagine that somebody else would say, mm. I'm not using this thing. Swapping it with, with chicks. With the chicks. Mm. With so the that chicks. thing is really, really, really working for mm. me. From door frames you to... You just check if it's something that, that, that works. That will work, yes. That will work. Mm. And you, you can work out the price more or less. That uh, well, what I do is I don't want to, 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 to be involved in their pricing. Mm. I would say 
send me a photo of whatever you are giving away mm. and its price. Mm. But know that my chicks are 50 pula each. Mm. We are going to match the price. Mm -hmm. Right now, I've got a guy who says, let me drop 10 pigs at your farm. Mostly they, because it's second hand, they give it at a discounted Obviously, price. Obviously, yes. Yeah, yeah. Or mind you, because it's something that they don't really need. Mm. They're desperate to get rid of it. Yeah. So you don't really negotiate. There's no need to negotiate. Sometimes you even give them more than what they bargained for. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Have you read a book by a guy called Ryan Holiday called The Obstacle is the Way? I hardly ever read because uh, yeah. I'm busy. Yeah, you, you have the to read because it, it helps you sharpen your focus. You're certainly going to read my book. I think. You <laughs> you as soon as you talked about it, I knew I was going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so you also, speaking of books, you have a book project yourself. Yeah, um, man. Tell me about that one. My uncle is responsible for all the books mm. in almost all the government schools. That's, di that's uh, Diamond Books. Mm. So we sat down. He's like, hey, you've got a story to tell. You're good at counseling. And you've got a very good life story. Why don't you write a book? Mm. And I told him, we will write a book, but we have to wait. Mm. We cannot write a book until I am a success story. Mm -hmm. The real deal. Mm. So we have to go through the process. Mm -hmm. And I'll document it on social media so that when we start writing, mm. we already have the content on yes. social media to reflect to. Yes. So right now, the reason why I have to update them is because when we now write the book, mm. we will be getting nuggets you have the them. material yes okay so when is it likely to come out well at the moment it's something i haven't thought about because remember this year i'm more i'm more about the farm mm. once i finish with the farm next year i i want to make good with my wife and my child to say uh, they get the best life mm. that they can possibly get then within that period i want to get married mm -hmm. mm. okay because right now it's just courtship isn't it yeah yeah. So if we are to summarize, what are the actual projects that you are working on and what status are they? Well, with the film production, with what we are, pro with what we are producing and filing, mm -hmm. we are very far. Uh, to a point where even podcasts we have uh, anticipated to do, mm -hmm. but in line with farming. Mm -hmm. It's something that we are packaging. Yes. Then there's the one that I've talked a lot about, which is... Um, the, the farm. Mm. The farm then is up and running. Yes. Then but the film is still being, film project is still being we prepared. Are still, we are still shooting. The podcast. Yes. Yeah, okay. So then there's the counseling aspect, mm. then there's the advertising aspect. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Ah, this is good. This is good. And um, what is your secret for being able to juggle them? Is it allocation of time? It's allocation of time. Mm. You need to allocate time and account for it to the people that you care about mm. and you need to be able to listen to other people when they talk. Mm. To say, hey, Mr. Yukari, you've disappeared. Or how are you managing one, two, three? Mm. Oh, I see a mistake here and there. Why don't you rectify one, two, three? Simply because you think you are doing the right thing. Well, mm. no, I'm doing no, the right thing. Yeah. At the moment, I'm a transom because I need to work with everybody. Because mm. even when we launch, you know, everything is coming together. Because the, it's more like this farm has already been over-advertised to a point where we are now forced to launch the farm officially. Mm. And already we've got the various stakeholders coming through to say, hey, mm. once you launch, this is what we can bring, this is what we can do. Why don't you allow us to brand the walls? Why don't we do advertising for you? Mm. So I'm no longer going after the money. The money is now coming after me because yes. people want branding. Others are already putting up proposals. Hey, why don't we have a farm fair at your farm annual? Mm. Why don't you host weddings there? Yes, I'll create a wedding venue. Why don't you do one, two, three? Mm. So as they're talking, I'm listening. The possibilities for cash generation exactly. are, are endless. Yes. But mm. now, you don't take everything that comes. You mm. have to see. Mm. Because everything you do has to be in line with what you're already doing. Mm. You don't want to branch out and start something new mm. that you don't know. Because right now, we cannot afford to make mistakes because mm. I'm working on a deadline. You understand? Mm. So, I have to make sure that if you tell me I'm in a farm, I can create a wedding venue, no problem. Mm. Camping site, no problem. Mm. Advertising on the walls, ah, not a problem at all. You talk about Christmas parties, you talk about conferences. I'll be putting up a conference facility yeah, there yeah. as well. You know, so that, you know, things like, uh, w you know, marriages that are falling apart, DNAs, etc., etc. Mm. We can have retreats at the farm. You know, where people come and they can literally stay there for the weekend yeah. as you are sorting out their marriages, etc., etc. That's where we are going. So, 
it seems to me from what you're saying there's no such thing as failure because every time you fail it's an opportunity to learn and to package that learning to help others exactly that's what especially you're yourself mm. every time when you fail you have to learn the lesson mm. how did i fail how much did you disclose you have to be very careful when I, you need to be very careful about how much you disclose because that's the same thing that they you use disclose. to destroy you yeah yeah yes so i've learned to say okay fine the only thing that i want to really disclose on social media is the farm Mm. Because it's a business. Indirectly, I'm marketing the business. Mm, mm, mm. Anything else beyond that, like my deals in terms of where I get the money, etc., etc., mm. those we don't disclose. I don't even want people to go in the direction of where we get money. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because that doesn't serve any purpose. Exactly. Mm. Then lastly, Mr. Moho, mm. the country that we live in right now, there are many opportunities. Many opportunities. You talk about this year, there are too many opportunities. Mm. We all have a potential to grow immensely in agriculture well, especially because on alicia machema for for the low income mm. you've got more products coming up like what you've got both mm. toilet total it is etc obana when you look at things and politicize them mm. complain and make noise you will never grow that's when you lose you lose you know what now i'm one guy who believes what i'll never go the political route mm. i want to know what has been sanctioned for all of us mm. for as long as i'm in this country i also deserve my fair share you do and don't even think i will not go for my share mm. i'll plan and decide mm. I'll let me spend my money first then when i go to you i tell you mm. i've already spent more than a million so there's no reason why you should refuse mm. so that there's nothing like it's debatable mm -mm. it's an issue of this man did a fair and square mm. because the day that i go now to ask for assistance too I'll post on Facebook. Yeah. If you don't assist me, I'll post again to say, you did not help me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of social media. Yeah. It's a beautiful uh, invention. All right. As we wrap up our conversation, I want you to touch on the future outlook. If we are talking a decade or two down the line, what do you see for the farm? What do you see for these other projects? Is there anything you can share with us? Namorena, I'm a millionaire in the making. Mm. Not in 10 years, no. You're already a millionaire. You paid out 2 point something Come million. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on. You're already a millionaire. <laughs> you're not a millionaire. Well, you're a multi. Well, oh, yeah, you well wanted to say a billionaire with a B. <laughs> well, what happens is, I want to secure it and know that mm. in asset value. Mm. I'm beyond that, you understand? Mm, mm. And I've decided that I'm not that until end of this year. When I look at my assets and I see them, mm. I'm set. Mm. No matter what you say or do, mm. there's nothing you can change about it. Yeah. Yes. Sounds very, very exciting. So so, so wha what are we going to see in, in two decades? What are we going to have? Well, in moving forward, I think uh, my plans go as far as two years and mm. not beyond. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they don't go beyond is because I'm building wealth. Mm -hmm. I believe in generating infrastructure that will work for me. Mm -hmm. I'm working for the money right now. Mm -hmm. You know, when I came into your product, you could see at first that I was a bit dazed. Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't angry you at you. You are very confident. <laughs> Which is good for me. Yeah. But generally, I, I arrived, I was tired because I've been up since about 4 o'clock, encouraging mm -hmm. my employees were early. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was cold at the time because mm -hmm. we were roofing the sink. I remember, I yes. remember, yeah. So what happens now is, you know, um, when I come for pro pro programs like this, it's about the now. Mm -hmm. I need to build the wealth. I need to, to ensure that the future is safe. Mm -hmm. But in moving forward as of after next year, then I want to know what my partner wants, mm -hmm. what is needed for my kid. Mm -hmm. Those are the people I'll be living for. All if right. they want projects, they want to build, I'll give them money I to build. I understand. I understand. Mm -hmm. you, you are sh medium term focused. It's yes. not short term. It's medium. Medium, yes. Long term, you look into late. All right, uh, any question for me as we wrap up? Well, in terms of um, asset value, mm. you are a man who, who deals with uh, properties. Mm -hmm. How do you think I'm doing in terms of asset creation mm. in the direction that I'm taking? And is there anything that you can teach me in moving forward to say, uh, but Morena, uh, are you spending too much on the farm? You could move part of your money to other yeah. projects, etc., etc. Or is it also safe to bring in investors? Because I'm one guy who does not believe in mm. uh, investing. I call it prostitution because once you have them on board, you don't even make decisions mm. anymore. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah to say, 
uh, as mm. much as I don't want investors, mm. can I invest in other mm. people's projects? What you want to do when you are starting is to retain control mm. at all costs. Um, uh, that's why something like angel investing would perhaps be something that might work for you depending on whether or not you package it correctly. Angel investing is of uh, uh, the, the type of angel investing we do at Angel Network Botswana is such that we would want to retain only a minority shareholding. So we don't really interfere. As long as you report to us every three to six months, we're happy as long as we see growth because we're looking at two factors, investability of the project and also scalability. If something can be invested on and also be scaled, we go for it. So that's the kind of investment you could be looking at. Um, it's too uh, constricted an environment uh, here in a podcast for me to give advice. Mm. And I don't even think that it's legally permissible. But I think just uh, on a gut basis, the energy level uh, is very high. The confidence level is very high. And a lot of entrepreneurs underestimate the importance of this. Being able to articulate your thoughts, being able to articulate your vision that you are doing and you are doing very well. And that you are in, which means you are able to sell your business. And that's a very, very important factor in terms of approaching funders, whether the funders are based on a debt setup or an equ equity setup such as maybe I mentioned angel investing. Mm. But there are other models like uh, uh, venture capital, uh, which, 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 so I will, I will answer your question in a loyally way because I'm <laughs> a lawyer by saying you seem to be on the right track. You are definitely making the right noises and your story is, is enthralling, it's exciting. Keep moving. Thank yes, you. in a different forum, I might go further when I have more information. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is um, um, your camera, say. I want you to leave this viewer that you just spoken to with an uplifting, motivational, inspirational, me short message. Go ahead, sir. In life, everybody will talk. Everybody will always have an opinion. But it's all up to you how you react to the opinions. You can either take the opinions and break down or you can build from the opinions. Now, what you need to realize is that nobody wants to see another person succeed. So it's entirely up to you to ensure that you force through thick and thin to ensure that in the end you succeed. Remember hashtag Rehuma <laughs> And that nobody, I'm the exception. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, a lot, of, a lot of people want to see Batsona yeah, succeed. True. But I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Tele can be very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Re uh, Shengeta. You've been very articulate. You've been very um, helpful and generous with your sharing. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much.